we have seen the connection of the RC board and we have finished that. But let's now move on to building a line following board. For that, do not remove the connections that you have already done for RC board because that connection will power the motors. All that you need is someone to tell the board to go and follow a line. For that, all that you need to have is a line following sensor or an IR array. If this is the long one. The, there are sensors which are uh, here and that needs to be phased onto the lines. So we will connect them underneath the chassis in this way. So for this you need two mid-sized screws. Let's have them. Unlock the screws. Both of them. Face it up. Pass the screws. Let's do it both the ends. If your hand, fingers are not that wide as I have, never worry, do one at a time, you are not in a hurry. Tighten the screws, there you are. You need a connector now to connect the IR array with the module, again as I told earlier, you have a ridge pass it on to the slot that is provided gently, do not force it and then you can connect it to any of the ports that are available on the dream grid. So let's go for the second one, it would look neat, again gently. So once you are done with that, you can now program it to work as a line following board. I told you earlier, I am not going to explain you the coding of how to build a line follower, but rather that would be done by my colleague. She was supposed to be there somewhere. My colleague, Ashwita. To start coding for our line follower, we'll be first opening our VK Studio. Here it opens. Select the appropriate port and give connect. Make sure that all the modules get connected. If not, Check the connections and try again. As you can see our IR array is connected to port 1 and motor driver is connected to port 2. IR array detects black and white so if the sensor detects black it will give you value less than 50 and if it detects white it will give you value greater than 50. To implement this we will be going to the logic part and select the first one that is if block and then Click on the symbol and drag 4 else if followed by 1 else. Deselect the symbol. Go to the logic and select the third block where we will be comparing. So make it less than and then go to modules and pull out the IR array that's marked extreme left. And for the extreme left, the value is 50. Now Go to the module, for the extreme left, it's, it's going to move left. So duplicate this and for the left, it has to move left again. So duplicate the motor and then for the center, duplicate the motor and make sure that you select forward. And for the right sensor, it has to move right and select right here, duplicate the IR array and for the extreme right, select extreme right and duplicate the motor and make sure that right is selected and by default, make sure that it moves right. In case there is nothing that's been detected. Upload and then let's see how our line follower works. Now 
we are done uploading to code.